The pandemic has created supply shortages and grocery prices, higher grocery prices. The co-care food pantry in the Rittner School District is fighting food insecurity during the current crisis and beyond. Yeah, as just Tina Cornell reports, it helps more than 2,500 people or roughly 750 families who live in the district. Uh, it looks like we have some shelf stable milk today. Every day, um, Board of Director President kind of Angela Gable makes sure shopping carts are ready to go and filled with the right products at the Rittner Co-Care Food Pantry. We rely completely on donations and we are 100% volunteer. We have no paid employees. The pantry aims to help with food insecurity. It's been up and running since 1980. When the pandemic hit, the organization changed the way they do things. Before COVID-19, shoppers used to walk down the aisles, grab the items for themselves and head out the door. But now with the pandemic, staff is packing up carts and making sure that they have all the items they need and that they're ready to go. What are you packing up today? The amount of people needing its services changed as well. The pandemic hit and we saw five times the number of clients almost overnight. We serve about 55 families a day. One of those clients is this mom of three. Now she's hoping to avoid the stigma that comes with food insecurity. We've decided not to identify her. I was desperate. I went to the store and half the shelves were empty and the other stuff that was left, the prices were too high and I said, like, what am I going to do? Just like everyone else, inflation prices are making it harder to put food on the table. Just the prices of everything has gone up and it's just hard out there. So, you know, food insecurity is huge. Each pound of ground beef is it's a pound of gold there. Gable echoes the same concerns. Lately, the cost of meat has been astronomical. People still want to see some meat and some protein in their basket. The prices are going up and oftentimes donations go down. When donations start to dwindle, the food pantry is forced to purchase the groceries it gives out. Our expenses have gone up. Well, the price is about doubled and it's important for us to be able to have it in smaller quantities so that we can mix and match. If we have a big family, we can give them several pounds. The prices may go up, but their efforts aren't slowing down. They continue to roll with the punches and pack more than just food. A lot of love fill up these carts too. Super confidential. You don't have to worry about anything and it relieves so much stress and it's just so much better for your family. You don't have to worry about your kids not having enough to eat and this is definitely a blessing. Justina Cornell, five on your side. About 50 volunteers work at the food bank every day and it serves all families within the Rittner School District, including families without children. Five on Your Side is taking an in-depth look at the challenges COVID created for the Rittner School District. We spent dozens of hours with students, teachers and staff to bring you unmasked lessons learned during the pandemic. And you can watch it Sunday at noon. It's also going to be available on full on demand.